Hey guys, hello and welcome to this YouTube series. I am Anisha Gupta and we are talking about crude and more importantly OPEC today. Well, crude oil uh, in one form or the other does find way into your everyday life whether it is transportation, paints, rubber, tyres, everything has some or the other usage in sense of transportation of crude oil. So, petrol and diesel do form as a, a component in pricing of everything that you use on a daily basis and the crude oil right now is being impacted by on what OPEC does. I want to tell you more about what this OPEC is because a large number of oil reserves or the production or cartelization in the international markets actually comes in via OPEC. So let's start with the beginning first and OPEC actually includes 13 oil producer countries as its members. OPEC was first founded in Baghdad that is in Iraq in September 1960. So OPEC has been in, con in existence since then. OPEC also was founded by just about five countries which is Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. These countries uh, have the world's largest oil reserves. These countries actually control nearly 72% of world's total proven oil reserves. And OPEC accounts right now for nearly 41% of the total world oil production as well. So when you talk about the crude oil prices, even if you are a producer or a consumer or in sense of price movement, you have to take a look at what OPEC really seems to be doing with. Can the OPEC influence the supplies and uh, prices in the international markets? Well, they absolutely can. Do you remember last year in 2020, in the month of March and April, when we saw the crude oil prices decline very sharply, $19 per barrel for Brent and in the negative for the US crude oil prices? That is because most of the countries were shut because of COVID. It, uh, the demand in the last year has been the lowest in last 25 years and we saw 70% uh, uh, excess crude oil being produced on what markets really were looking at in sense of demand. And that is the time when OPEC actually came out with other allies led by Russia and started to cut, inter cut international production in sense of crude oil prices. That is what took the crude prices on the higher side. So, well, yes, OPEC does manage all production by its members by setting oil production targets. All the 13 OPEC members have to listen to OPEC in sense of quotas that have been put out. The compliance of OPEC clearly has been quite mixed. But if you look at the kind of numbers that we have seen in last three or four months, the compliance from OPEC countries also has been quite on the stronger side. Well, OPEC maintains world's entire spare crude capacity, so it can move quite quickly in sense of restarting more supplies or curbing supplies. And that is the reason OPEC does has a strong hand when it comes to international production. Uh, the ability that OPEC has to real uh, and potential disruptions in the world oil supplies is something that it also caters to quite strongly. Now, the strength of OPEC and allies. Until now, we've been talking about OPEC, but the allies also came in along in the previous year. This is when OPEC realized that even if it continues to cut production, there is more production that you saw coming from Russia and the other countries. So, OPEC with Russia, Russia as a leading country and 10 other allies have joined in, which is called OPEC and allies. So, this is 13 OPEC countries and 10 Russia-led countries. So, OPEC and allies now control nearly 50% of global oil supplies. OPEC and allies hold nearly 90% of proven oil reserves in the world and the OPEC and allies have a domination position when it comes to coalition and it has a significant influence on the crude oil prices at least in the near short term as we already have seen. Now, a question that gets being asked in various commodity sectors is about cartelization. So, is OPEC a cartel? Well, it sure definitely is because what it is doing is it is uh, fixing prices, it is fixing production as well, it is managing production and prices, but it is a cartel of countries. And when you look at the US uh, laws, uh, it's an intergovernmental organization and that doesn't stand in any jurisdiction is the reason OPEC has been able to quite strongly do that because the countries come along, the governments come along, the oil ministers come along and that is what really forms a cartelization which we call then OPEC. So talking about the global oil reserves then and uh, while there has been all this conversation about EVs and moving away from carbon emissions and lower investments in crude, but when you look at the kind of reserves that the world has right now at current levels, at current consumption levels, excluding the unproven reserves and techniques and technologies, 47 years of crude oil is still remaining into the global market. So even as uh, we are looking at conversations about various other technologies, there is enough and more crude oil at least for the half century going forward. 
Let's talk about the global oil demand as well. We've talked about we've talked about supplies. We've talked about on what OPEC does. But when it comes to demand, last year, as I told you, was the lowest demand in 25 years. Uh, the global storage was running out of space, exceeding 70 percent, and the prices fell into negative. And OPEC had to come in and start cutting production by a record nine million barrels per day in the previous year. OPEC, after bringing some of that supply back into the market, still has a, cap a spare capacity of 5.8 million barrels per day. The expectation is that between August and December of this year, we might be looking at some more production coming back in case from OPEC, which could be 2 to 2.5 million barrels. Even with that, OPEC will have 3 million barrels of a spare capacity. So OPEC, even now, even when the prices are lower or the prices are higher, and even as OPEC wants to gain more market share right now, it would still continue to be in hands of OPEC on how the crude prices move going forward this year, the next year, and the markets believe that the coming few years as well.